After two weeks, the ZRDR CO2 generator is now empty. So now it's time to service it. So the uh, first thing I'll do is uh, take off the bubble counter and rinse that out. this off to the side. Now to take the main canister apart. So all I got to do is just uh, unscrew it. There may be a little pressure inside. But not enough to uh, have the top of this blow off into your face. We'll put this off to the side. Now for all the goodies. So in here it should be a uh, a nice thick, almost like a simple syrup type concoction coming out of this thing. So there's uh, quite a bit of uh, material on the bottom of this thing. So uh, we'll, we will rinse it off with uh, hot water to uh, dissolve the remaining crystals and we'll take the, uh, the bottom off We'll keep rinsing it until the, uh, the former concoction is all dissolved. Give it a little more rinse. Fill all the way up to the top. Want to make sure you get all the uh, former stuff off the bottom of your uh, sink there because it will, citric acid will uh, leave marks on your uh, stainless steel, so you don't want that. Now we'll fill the vessel up with cold water to cool it off. dry things up a little bit because when you have well over 100 psi 
You get a lot of splashage. Dry off the threads. So now if you're uh, refilling this by the book, it is a, right here on the uh, green ring here, it's 200 grams of baking soda, 200 grams of citric acid, and 300 milliliters of water, which is also 300 grams of water. But uh, like I mentioned in my uh, setup videos, uh, I'm gonna put 200 grams of baking soda and 264 grams of citric acid with the 300 milliliters of water. So I have that pre-measured. And I have my uh, collapsible funnel ready to go. We have some chunkage. takes care of the dry goods. Now we will measure out 300 milliliters of water or 300 grams. This cup has uh, the measurement for 300 liters, milliliters I should say. Okay, we have 300 milliliters of water. And now for a reminder, you definitely want to have this tipped because you want to try to minimize the instant reaction you're going to have. And it will start fizzing up as soon as you add the water. So you don't want to delay long, because the more you delay, the more you lose. And we will put the top on. And just tighten that top up. You don't need to crush it. And now we wait. Uh, the minimum time you can wait to uh, turn your system back on is when the needle hits the 10 mark and then you can go ahead and, and uh, plug it back in. So that's that for refilling the ZRDR CO2 generator. This system lasts me uh, two weeks. Uh, for the two liter uh, size vessel here. Maybe someday I will order the uh, four liter so I can do this once a month and uh, have less maintenance to do. So I'll fill my uh, bubble counter here and get that ready to go. I'll screw this back on top. So that's that. Thanks for watching. We'll see you at the next video. Bye bye.